a scenario happened like a couple months ago. Pásale, compadre. I'm not going to say no names or nothing, but... Pásale, compadre. Tírale. I was at a Texas 2K meet or whatever the hell, and some guy, for some reason, they wanted to race me or whatever. They were like, like I said, like, drama looks for you, and you don't even, you don't even, you don't even think about <laughs> it like that. You don't even think about it like that. So, they're talking and this and that, and like, hey, uh, mind you, way, the drama in the, in the truck scene, it's not even the owners making the drama. It's the fucking cheerleaders. The the, mm. the fool without the truck is the one that has the mo the biggest mouth. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. That's true. So they come out to me like whatever this and that, and this guy, the owner's not even talking, bro. And I know the owner since he was like whatever. I've been knowing him for years. Yeah. Wait, stop the podcast. Make sure you like the video if you like the car and truck content. Y'all make sure to go in the comments right now. Who y'all want to be in the next podcast? All right. Y'all go watch the video and subscribe. What's up, guys? We're here at Go Hard Podcast. Hey, we came to Triple P, man. Make sure you check out the full podcast on YouTube. Let's get it, compadre. Y'all mean like and comment. Welcome back to Go Hard Podcast. Man, hey, we are Sabu Inside. We here at Triple P, man. I'm different on the podcast. Uh, we, you know, we're coming out to the shop. I want to thank every, all the supporters. Shout out to Johnny. Shout out to everyone. Hey, we outside. But we motherfucking inside. Big dog, compadre. Shout out to the compadre. What's up, guys? Uh, thank you for having me here or for y'all coming here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, sir. Sure. Been wanting to get on the show for a while already. Ooh, man. Hey, yeah, just, man, we always busy and shit, you know? But hey, now we're here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, we got it. Hey, if you don't know him, he's Triple P, Alex Pando. He's a heavy hitter in the truck scene. You know, he's been in the game for how long? Shit, since I was fucking... <laughs> the ball oh, my, my uncle, my dad, they always had trucks. I mean, I've been in this shit since I was fucking little kid. Yeah, yeah, and man... Before the ball's hanging, bro, buddy. Yeah. We're going to talk about him on the truck scene. We're going to talk about the shop. All right, so what made you get in the truck scene? Uh, this thing is like, a lot of people say, like, that's what they like. like I literally, like, lived this since I was a little kid, you know? Like, yeah. My pops, my uncle, they always had sick ass whips back in the day. They had race cars. So ever since I was like, man, three or four years old, I'm talking about they would take me to meets and like Holmes Road and stuff like that. I was in diapers and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I was three or four years old. And I've been, ever since then, it's like a thing you fall in love with. I remember the first time I went to the track, I was like three years old. I remember I saw a Mustang pop a wheelie and it was like, no, <laughs> at first sight. And ever since then, it just, it just became a compadre truck. Andaba con los nalgas it's not cagadas, about the compadre. truck, it's about the speed. Like, it's, it's, I like racing. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of people like truck shows and stuff. I like the shows they're cool to go to and shit, but I like racing. Well, I, I, I have a show truck. I have a nice sound truck, and it's, it's an old school C10. I have, I have a show truck, yeah. but it's not my thing to do. Like, oh, like, let's go to this truck show. I'll go if there's drag racing involved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you like the adrenaline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't like just to be sitting down. Like, oh, don't get me wrong. It's cool to go to truck shows. You go, yeah, you yeah. have a good time, but... If I'm not really doing nothing, me personally, there is like, eh. yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. All right. What do you think about the, you know, right here we got the Ford Coyote. What do you think about the Ford Coyote, man? The the new Ford Coyote platform is like, it's just it was a game changer for Ford. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, what year? What year though? Well, you got like the Gen Twos, I guess you can say they're pretty fast too as well, but really the game changer was 2018 plus when they came out with the 10 speed, you know? Yeah. But uh, I mean, I've seen some six speeds are, that are pretty fast too, like the Gen Twos or whatever. Um, I have a Gen 3, it's a 2020, and this is my, it's like a daily, I don't really drive it that much, but it's like full daily truck, like has AC and everything. It got a whip on a supercharger 3.0, makes like a thousand horsepower. Oh, that's a daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got the daily for the thousand. Yeah, like the shop truck, like go pick up parts or whatever. Type Damn. Of hey, they really going paper, hard right? here. Huh? It's just paper, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the Ford platform is, like I say, it's just a game changer. Like, that's a stock motor. Yeah. Uh, it's just upgrade old pump gears and a lot of boost. Tell us, okay, so tell us about your, your truck scene background. So we're going to talk about his background, the truck scene, you know, what trucks he have, his trucks. And we're also going to talk about the shop after. Talk, tell us about your background, man. Like, you know, you, you gave us a little bit, but give us the more sauce. You know what I mean? Uh, what can I say? I mean, it's, I always knew I was going to do this. Like, yeah, since yeah. I was little, I like, oh, I'm going to have a shop. Yeah. Like, I don't get me wrong. Like, you're supposed to go to school, college, and all that. That's, that's badass, but yeah. I always knew that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to school, like, just probably to make my parents happy. But I always knew I was going to have a shop because, I mean... My dad had a shop, my uncle had a shop, you know, so it's, it was, Family it was shit. bound to be, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, pretty much, that's it. I mean, it's, it's, it runs in the family, basically. And Juan, who, Juan is your... Juan Shamish is my uncle, yeah. Your uncle, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Man, he has a crazy truck, bro. He has a lot of the crazy black trucks. one. The black one. Well, that one uh, flipped over two years ago. Oh. Me and Freddie did an event in San Antonio for the Project Torch Truck Shootout. Yeah. We did two of them. We did one in March and we did one in uh, September, and he flipped it in the one in September. But that one hit sevens, right? Yeah, that truck was one of the first trucks to run sevens on the quarter mile yeah. full weight. It actually had the record for like a few years, and then a uh, spike from the valley broke it and yeah. stuff like that. And then uh, Juan came back and he ran a faster time, and then that's when it flipped. Oh. Damn. Oh. Yeah, but when, when before it flipped, it went uh, 749 or 750 in the quarter before Ooh. it flipped. That was in 20, I want to say we did the show in 2021 or 2020 or on there. Damn. Yeah. And that's the one Flaco bit, right? Because I had him on the pod. He's, he was talking about it. Yeah, yeah, Flaco. Flaco tuned that truck and everything. Yeah, yeah. All right, so tell us, like, your first truck you bought. Like, when was the first truck that got you in the game? So, actually, when I was a... Uh, or car or whatever. Fun fact, fun story. Fun fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be a fun story. I was like uh, 15 years old. I was in high school. And my parents bought me my first truck. It was an 08 Simon cab. Drive, fucking nice rims, 24s, full bolt-on converter. Built, you know, like the a nice, it was a nice, nice truck. Yeah, yeah. I think it lasted me like, I don't know, wait, like three months. One day after school, some guy was burning out. And I decided to go race him. And... He lived, and I was burning out in the corner of a stop sign, and I took off right now. And I turned and <laughs> ride, and I lost control, and I went into a tree. Ooh, hey, that was my first you truck. You totaled it, like, completely. Yeah, yeah like, I hit a tree, like. So it was, either it was going to a house or going to the trees. So I was like, man, I'm going to the tree, you know? And so, <laughs> you, know what, you know what they say, right? What? Trees don't move. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> well, it, it kind of moved, but it didn't. Nah, it, hey, it, it wasn't like, a little bump. Basically, basically, the tree ended up inside the truck. Yeah, it was bad. Damn. I was surprised. Like, it was me and... Uh, one of my cousins and one of my homeboys, I'm, nothing happened to us. Maybe just some That's scratches, crazy. but yeah, yeah, thank God we all came out okay. Damn, thank God, buddy. And that was my first truck. And was, then, it, was it like fixed up? Like what was the first mod you did? So actually when we got it, it was already like full bolt on camera. Oh, okay. yeah, it was like, it was a pretty fast truck from back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty cool. First and after that, I got a Colorado, like the single cabs, yeah. the, the five in line. And that one was straight piped on nitrous. I used to run tools back in the day. On the six? It's five cylinder. And like five oh, cylinder. five cylinder. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. yeah. And I used to run tools on nitrous back in the day, too. And then from there, I mean, I probably lost count. I've had a lot of trucks. I've, I had single cabs. I've had Trailblazer SS. I've had Camaros. I've had all sorts of shit. <laughs> and the blue one, the blue 08? That one's Juan's. Oh. That one, I, I, but I used to, well, I, to this day, I race Juan's trucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're the driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On most of them? On most of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. What manejas más normally? Usually the blue truck or the orange one, the, the black one, I really didn't run it that much. I ran it a few times, but that was when Flacco used to drive it and Roy yeah. used to drive it too back in the day. Yeah, Roy. I remember yeah, yeah. I've seen Roy drive I'm it. I'm talking about this, this back in the day. I was still in high school and I was like going eights already and shit, like driving yeah. Juan's trucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy, bro. For real. I remember the first time I raced at the track, I was probably like 13. <laughs> Damn, dude. Hell, you didn't have a but driver license? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dad would let me drive. He would let me drive. That's hey, crazy. so you didn't have a driver license racing like that, right? Oh. And then when I did get my license, it got suspended like three months later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. I was bad. I was bad when I was younger. Hey, but we're, they weren't hot like they are now, right? The the cops? Like now, if you, like, you nah, get caught racing, that, that's you get racing now, you're going yeah, to jail. Yeah. Like, boom. I've been three times already. For racing? Yeah, yeah. Highway racing to the charge. I've been three times. They told me that one more time. I, like the first time, it was like a slap on the wrist. You got a lawyer and shit like that? Bro, I did not know that. The second yeah. time I got a lawyer again, and uh, the second time I got uh, a year probation. They made me do some community service, and that's it. And the third time, they gave me two-year probation, and, like, oh, they suspended my license for good, good. Like, good. Damn. I've already got my license back. This was, like, in 20, 2018, and I've already got my license back, like, a year ago. How fast were you going when they called you, like? Uh, I don't he, know. Was going, he was going to speed limit, compadre. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, he was going in like, to speed limit. It's, it's just, was it like a grudge? Was it like a... Nah, I would go back. I would go to the meets and oh. shit like that. And usually those meets are the ones that you get busted pretty quickly because yeah. everybody's on the freeway and stuff like that. And the cops are like tracking. Yeah. So the last time I actually got popped, it was uh, undercovers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was like post yeah. cars back in the Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, shit happens. Damn, one yeah, more time. Y'all can, can look up my mugshot somewhere there. Hey, one more. <laughs> hey, hey, one more time, man. That's it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told me like, hey, you know, so I'll, you can say that I'm kind of, I'm just chill now. He's wanted. Now, I, hadn't he's gone, want I hadn't gone to a meeting in years, and I barely went to this one like three weeks ago. 
And I was this close of racing. Like, I was like, fuck it, let's go race. And as soon as we put out the parking lot, like six cops got there. I'm like, oh, I'm going home. Fuck oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Must put a track. Yeah, yeah, Must put a track. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, so, like, like I'll be doing burnouts in front of the street here yeah, and shit, yeah. but I don't race. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, if you do a burnout, they'll probably take you to jail on some bullshit, but they won't, most likely, they'll just give you a ticket and, you know, go on your way. Oh. Yeah, yeah shit like that. But nah, I try to stay out of trouble. Like, nah, it's not. When you're younger, you don't care. Now I'm a little bit more mature. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you, stay out of there. you got more to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Three, what is it, your last, last third or fourth? Well, like I've had three. Three. So I you, get one more to yeah, be my fourth, but I'm yeah. just trying to get another. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so who's the racing lawyer? Do they have like a racing lawyer, like just for people who Better race? Call Saul, nah, there was one, but I got him for like a bullshit ticket one time, and he didn't even show it to my court, and he was like the racing lawyer. I was like, man, fuck that. Uh, so I got a, the the same lawyer that got my three cases. He did all my cases. Oh. Uh, so he's every time I would go back like through like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. He's the better call saw of a truck meets. Nah, but he, I mean I, I'm pretty. I mean I think it was pretty good. The first time was literally a slap on the wrist. Yeah. The second time was a year probation. The third time was a two year probation. Yeah. What were you? What what truck were you racing? Uh, the first time. My Trailblazer SS. Mm. Um, the second time I had a Camaro, a 2002 a F body. Cam, Nitrous, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the third time, I had a GMC uh, 2015 single cab. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Chevy GMC, compadre. Chevy no, GMC. And then, well, another fun fact, I guess. One time... Uh, one <laughs> hey, of my, he dropping one, the fun facts. Yeah, one of my buddies, uh, he had just got a C6, uh, a vet. And like, hey, let's go fuck around in it, this and that. So we're out here on 25. And we're some other homeboys like, hey, let's race them. But homeboy really didn't know how to drive. He's like, hey, you drive. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll drive. And mind you, I was on probation for racing already. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck it, let's go. Like I said, I didn't care back then. Yeah. So we raised like a few times, and we bust a U-turn right here on 225, and we make another hit on the feeder. Out of nowhere, I just see like two constables on 225 get off and just lit us up. There. So the vet, you know, the vet's kind of low and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so it was a, he was a pretty tall dude or whatever. So he comes like, hey, your license registration, blah, blah, blah. So he hadn't even seen my face because the car's low. So he's like, hey, he was saying, so I just give him the license like this. Yeah. Bro, I'll shit you not. He looks at my shit like, Pantoja? Oh, so man. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Man, get off the car. So put me on handcuffs. Like, I didn't even know like, what the fuck's going on. I didn't remember him. Like, hey, what were you doing like around 10 months ago around this time? I don't know. Like, I arrested you for the same shit. Damn. Yeah, I'm like, oh, and I'm on probation. <laughs> yeah, I'm on probation for like, no, but I'm on probation already for like the second one. Like, he was like my first one. So, you know what I'm saying? So then um, I'm like, oh, no, well, my bad, whatever this and that. Mind you, I had a wedding to go to that day. Like, that, I was supposed to be already at home getting ready. I didn't, anyways, I'm already arrested. I'm in the back of the car. And then he comes back to the, like, hey, um, he went to go talk to his buddy, the, the other cop. And he comes back, like, hey, um, I saw that you don't have nothing on your record. Like, cause I had got my lawyer to like expunge it or something. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I did the probation. I had to get in trouble on those yeah. so it wouldn't be on my record. Like, yeah, like, what you do? Like, oh, well, I got a lawyer. Like, oh, you waste a lot of money? I'm like, oh, well, whatever the lawyer charges, you know? Yeah. And like, you want another one? Me knowing that I'm on another one right now. Oh, I'm God. like, no, I don't. <laughs> I guess he had a good place in his heart. Shout out to him. He's like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to let you go. But he <laughs> had me in the cop car for like a good 40 minutes. I was like, man, fuck. Damn. Like, buddy, can you get <laughs> we were gonna barbecue. I told him we were probably gonna barbecue today, but it was hot. It was too fucking hot. Hey guys, it's hot. It's hundred degrees in here. But shout out, cause shout out to Pantoja man for letting us come through. Yes, yeah. sir. All right, so talk about your builds. Talk about like some of the builds that you remember that you don't have no more. And then when you're done, talk about like the builds you do have. So I'm really the type of person that, well, not no more, but like back then I would get attached to something. Oh yeah. So I really don't sell my trucks. It has to be like a truck that I really, really do not use, and it's just they're like stranded that I'll sell. Yeah. But like my actual trucks, trucks, I don't sell them. I only sold one of them, my actual trucks, and I regret it every day. I sold it to Freddy. I sold him a, a turbo GMC, the one I got popped in racing. Oh. Uh, billets with a turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver one. Yeah. I, I sold him that one. That's the only truck I've actually like. Was that the giveaway truck? Or? Yeah, he gave it away. Yeah. I, he, I knew he was going to give it away, but that's the truck that like I look at pictures, and it was just sick. Wait. Why? Money talks. No, I'm saying, what, like, why you remember it? Like, why you, until, like, why snap, you miss it? The snap oh. memories come up and shit. Oh. Nah, and it was sick. Like, I'm talking about, it was like a 4x4s, turbo, big turbo GMC. Yeah. It had a Denali front end, Denali interior, 26-inch billets. It was, it was nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's something. One of a kind. The memories come up, and I'm like, fuck, I had a nice truck. Yeah. And I only sold it because that idiot over there told me to sell it. <laughs> nah, Freddie was here one day. Guy, like, that guy? Yeah, my cousin. <laughs> Freddie was here one day. He pulled up. He's like, man, 
I haven't recorded nothing all day and the day's already over. I haven't made a vlog. I need to do something. I'm like, oh, well, what do you want to do? He's like, man, show me your truck. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, like he's just on the spot. Hey. And I'm like, nah. He's like, put your price. I'm like, nah, it don't work like that. Hey. And this motherfucker put a price on it and the truck left. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're ever thinking about trying to buy it back? So actually, like a year and a half ago, yeah, like a year and a half ago, I posted a picture of it on my Triple P page, like on my story, and the guy that won the truck hit me up. <laughs> like, hey, bro, I'm the winner of the truck. Um, you want to buy it back? I'm selling it. Oh. But nah, the truck is nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing how I had it. It didn't have the turbo no more. Damn. It didn't have the billets no more. And Man, he sold all the parts. Yeah, I think Freddie, I think he, uh, California dude bought it. So you know how they're strict over there? Oh, so yeah. I think the guy asked Freddie if he could take out the turbo kit. Oh, yeah. Put it for him stock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but Freddie gave it to him with some brand new billets as well. He changed the billets I had. He put some new ones. But now nah, the truck was on stocks and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, well, how much you want for it? And now nah, the price was like, nah. Like, Too much. Yeah. 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 Like, compadre. <laughs> like Cali prices, compadre. Yeah, yeah, that type of shit. Oh, no, no, no. And then no turbo, no, not the nothing, same. Nothing, ah, no. Nah. It looked, it, it, yeah, it looked like, a, like one of those trucks you buy, like, not talking shit, but like, like from the auction. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, no. You ever, consider, truck. You ever yeah. consider getting like, this is like the same truck? Almost not the same exact one, but you know. Nah, yes and no, because I actually have it already. I have another uh, one almost the same. Mm. Instead of being a GMC, it's a Chevy. Mm -hmm. But then again, this I, when, oh, I, when, when I sold that one, I replaced it with this one. Uh, the silver, silver, yeah, yeah. Shit, but I went to a Ford. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, and I, it's just, I'll probably build another one one day, but just to have it like, I don't know, I'll probably sell it or something. Yeah. Or not. Sorry, is this one faster than the one you have? Oh yeah, way faster. It's hard to make power on the LT motors, the fuse system and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. These fucking trucks are amazing from dealer yeah you heard it compadre you heard it omar you know lts are difficult compadre they ain't fast <laughs> oh, i saw that tiktok where that omar said that nobody's beat him in houston no lt or something yeah, LT, yeah. NA, damn crazy 30 second trucks are getting brave out here <laughs> <laughs> shots fired compadre <laughs> we started strong brother it's all love it's all love yeah okay no compadre <laughs> hey talk about so that was one you missed what's another one you missed that's the only one I've sold. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, I don't sell my trucks. Oh, was, that, that time, because he made, like, literally, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it was like, man, fuck it. What's all, so what's all done to the Ford, the F-150? Talk about it. Um, so, like I said, it's a stock 5.0 motor. But it has a Whipple supercharger, a 3.0. Um, it has a Ford Innovation fuel system, triple pumps, ID1700 injectors. It got some upgraded oil pump gears, which that's all it needs. And it's, like, on 19 pounds of boost. Damn. It has a built trans, circle D converter, built rear end. Who did the trans? I did it. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has upgraded clutches, steels, and some little work here and there, like into the nice. drums and stuff. And, and Circle D style? Yeah. Let me, I got to ask you a quick. So, the gears, what gears do they have from, from stock? The rear end? Yeah. This one, I believe it came with 331s. Damn. Yeah, so, I, it has 331s on it. Johnny? And the front? What about the front? 331s oh, as well. You, oh, can't, you, can't, you can't have a mismatched gear for four-wheel drive. Is that on all four-wheel drives or? Yeah, all four-wheel drives, like on like the trucks and stuff, they have to have same tire same. size, same gear and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that. I've, I've seen, promise. I've seen some I'm sure cars. A lot of, I'm sure a lot of people don't know that. I've either. seen some cars like GTRs having like a slick in the back and a street tire in the front, and they work somehow. But on like Chevys and Fords, you have to have the same gear and same size tire. Mm. Yeah. So it's not the same like the usual people like they know like four elevens in the back and that's it. No, no, yeah, like you have four elevens in the back, you have to put four elevens in the front. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to work. Like, I mean, yeah. I have another 404. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard of Jenny 69. It's a twin turbo truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one day uh, we finished it up here, whatever, and we we're going to make a hit on the street. But I had it on street tires. But my dumb ass was like, oh, I have 20s all around. But I wasn't thinking. I was like, excited to make a hit because we had just yeah. finished it up. Yeah. The back tire was a 40 tall, and the front one was a 30. And I put it on four wheel drive, and I. Fucked everything up on that bitch. Damn. Damn. Yeah. That matters a lot then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, blew a dry shaft or what? No, I blew the transfer case. Oh, the transfer damn. Case. Like, damn, yeah. bro. Most important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, why? And I was, then I saw the tires. I'm like, oh, shit. So it's on, so the Ford is on stock kits or like? Stock. Just old pump gears on the motor. That's it. Damn, So bro. what? So if somebody wants to build a truck, and what do you say? It hits on the, on the, to the wheels? On the dyno? I never dyno it, but it, oh. it makes like a thousand fifty, a thousand twenty around there. It's over a thousand for sure. It's on like nineteen pounds of boost. Damn, so if somebody bro. wants to build a Ford, what would it cost? It just like depends. Like when I did the Whipple setup on it, because so. I feel like the Whipple was like it's like a more like a bolt on. 
than a, a turbo are, kit. The Whipples are expensive, though. If you compare a Whipple to a turbo kit, the on three kits are cheaper than the Whipples. Mm, you know but they're, they're not like, but the turbos are not like precisions, or they're not like, they're not really like. Well, I, like a I, lot of people use the on three kit and they put precision turbos on it. Yeah, so yeah. So at the end of the day, the on three kit is like five grand. Yeah. And then you spend like two, two grand, 2,500 on the turbos, the you're, turbo. you're at 7,500. So what is the Whipple cost? The Whipples are like 8,500. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. And so, then the way I did this one, I did the Whipple and they come standard uh, six rib setup or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I did a 10 rib setup on it. Mm. So I wasted like an extra like 2,300 on the Whipple to make it a 10 rib. 10 rib, yeah. Yeah, because I didn't want to be dealing with belt slip or none of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what does it cost to, to if somebody wants to build one? Um, Because you're talking about Fuel system, like, thousand like, horsepower, like something like, like this, like not built motor, not, nothing like 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 the other guys that have built motor stuff, like something like streetable like this. Yeah. Um, you'll probably ways with transmission. Of course, you need the transmission, even though the, the stock transmission kind of holds power, but it's better to have it built. Yeah. And converter and stuff like that. Um, you'll probably weigh somewhere around with labor and everything around the thirty thousand range. Mm. Without the truck though. Without the truck. With yeah. the truck, you talk. these trucks are like 40 grand, even used. Yeah. You talk about like 70, 75,000 that you're going to waste on the truck. Like with mm. the whip and stuff like that. Well, so compadre, if you want to go fast, buy one of these, man. Cause I <laughs> They're see, the I best be bang for the buck, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Right I, now. We've been having people like, man, we, 150, 200,000 for just, you know, for all parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, there's, now if you go build motor, like a sleep motor, or like a fucking fight 2 stroker on these, I think the motors alone are like 28,000. Yeah. Just the motors. The transmissions to go like a... To put like a TH 400 on these, it's like from 15 to 20,000, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's like when you're trying to go fast, fast. Yeah. The 10 speeds that they're built right, they handle a decent amount of power. You can go pretty fast on them too. Damn. Yeah, we do. That's our main thing. We do transmissions here. That's our main thing. I thought your I thought uh, your uncle your Theo did trans. Oh yeah, I learned from the best too. Oh. Yeah. 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 The main thing is transmissions. Both. So yeah. the way is when I got the shop is basically transmission shop and some bolts on here and there like intakes, headers, yeah. whatever. But then people started seeing like the trucks I would do, like my trucks and shit like that. So they would start hitting me up, like, hey, how much for this? Or how much? And I would, at the beginning, I'd be like, no, no, no. But then like it, it was kind of stupid not to do it because I mean, you're doing it on your own trucks. And I was like, man, so. You like saying no to money. Yeah, so we started <laughs> doing it basically all, like not all, but like, you know, we do rear ends, we do cam kits, we do motor saws, yeah. we do transmissions, converters, you know, shit like that, botons. Yeah. But our main thing is transmissions, you know, and we don't know, we don't just do performance transmissions, we do regular people, regular trucks, shit like that. Yeah. Shit, I should have brought it here, somebody. What? My dad's van was messing up. I should have brought the. You know, Bro, you literally I, I five just, minutes. I just did a van today. It's over there in the. Like that is. Hombre. You literally. Five y la voy a la vendió y se compró uno de uno del 2020. Yeah. <laughs> we had a 2015 with less miles, but it is what it is. And talk about uh, Jenny 69. Uh, What's all done to it? Who tuned it? So hey, Jen, So who tuned this one? This one's tuned by Lund. Lund. Okay. Done. Nice. Um. So Jenny 69 is a 06 uh, Simon Cat 404 Cat Eye. Um, it's been through a few setups. It started as a truck just for the YouTube channel. Just I bought a truck to just make content for like the people for like a few two three months. Just I, I actually built it like in two weeks three weeks the truck. Damn. Put some of my YouTube videos like the, I bought the truck. It was a nice like live like leveled on thirty fives and shit like that. Yeah. It was mint condition, and I bought it and like as soon as I bought it like three days later we had it at the shop. We put out the fight three. I had a four hundred eight choker right here brand new wrapped around in plastic. Damn. We pressure washed the frame. We painted the whole frame on it. We slept in the 408. We put a 480 on it. We did the rear end. We did the fuel system. And like a week later or four days later, I had it on my boy uh, David of Fabwork Inc. Yeah. And he did the twin turbo kit on it. And I guess on the video, that, that's when um, that one girl, Jenny69, was out with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. With her song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while I put, oh, Jenny69, I put the two turbos and shit, because I was like, I put a picture that was from up over Cita to a bad bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, from when we were stocked to, like, in a week, it was, like, on Twins. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the, I guess a lot of people like liked it. Like, any, like, and that truck, I barely built it, like, a year ago, a year and a half ago. I've had my maroon truck for way longer, and everywhere I go, people ask me about Jenny. Like, hey, where's Jenny? Where's Jenny? Where's Jenny? And then I've done a few flybys here in front of the shop, like, digs, like, yeah. and that truck just hooks and books on the street, like, it just, so those videos have actually gone viral, like. The 4x4. Four four. Yeah, 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 I have, like, a video, like, on TikTok with, like, I don't know, like, on Facebook, I have one with, like, a million views. Oh, And damn. people just started sharing, 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 and then on TikTok, I have one, like, with 400,000 views, type of shit. Yeah. So, I, I guess it got pretty known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. It's a, right now, the setup is on right now, it's a 448 dart block. Uh, 283 turbos, Holly ECU, um, Eminem TH400, stuff like that. It's still on stock suspension though. Damn. That's what I'm gonna get done next. But 
a lot of the fab shops are busy and they take forever and there's a lot of events coming up and booze is about to hit so i kind of can't take it right now because there's a lot of events coming up but for sure for sure once november gets here i'm taking it to a fab shop yeah and it's on caltrax yeah caltrax oh damn caltrax relocated shocks and anti-roll bar yeah and the front i have a tubular control arms with long travel shocks yeah. that's about it but i mean it's basically stopped and you're doing four link necks or or ladder uh, bar? i'm probably gonna do ladder bars on it yeah, I'm gonna do ladder bars and do a little bit of weight reduction because the truck's full weight still. Like, yeah. all steel, all glass. So I'm probably gonna do some carbon doors, carbon tailgate, carbon bumper, shit like that. And yeah. what is the run at the uh, eighth? So I've been testing with Flaco actually these cap couple last weeks. Um, I don't really wanna say how much numbers, but. Because you're in the all steel, all glass. No, indexer. just because um, the truck hasn't run at its full potential yet. Yeah, um, uh, we've been working out with some stuff. Like, I mean, oh, you can I, say a fake number. I need another. <laughs> I mean, well, hey, hold on. I'll tell you what it goes like on low booze. It goes 540s. Okay. I would say, booze. is that Crawford's yeah. numbers? They'll get an idea what it, what it, what it, what it go on high boost. Yeah. But like, you talk about that truck weighs like 4,800 pounds or more. Mm, so you haven't shaved weight though? No, the trucks. The only thing I took off was the AC and the carpet. Everything else is there. Stock seats, everything. Damn. What you know. are you trying to compete with? Uh, to be honest, bro, like when I was probably younger, I will probably be like, oh, I want to beat this guy i want to do this like now i really just do it for myself like mm. it's not yeah 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 like how can i like back then i was more into this shit like back then i was like oh let's go race let's go race let's go race and i was more like uh oh let's go to the track yeah. track open some beers and yeah have fun oh, yeah we, there's an event we run the class the yeah. index class or whatever i don't really care too much about that shit like it's i have a life yeah outside of this shit you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah yeah i got you yeah, and people take this shit too serious sometimes Oh, you know what I'm saying like yeah, like, yeah, like, like, yes. And, I, and everybody's entitled to do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, yeah. I'm entitled to do not to give a fuck about it. You know? What I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. But I do it for fun. I do it because I like it, and I've always liked it. I'm not new to this. Like, yeah. I'm, I didn't just hop on the trend. You're low key born into this though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I was, we were talking earlier and about the races and stuff like that, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Baytown top ten. Yeah, I mean, I've seen this shit all my life, and I know. Like firsthand, how much it is, how much you spend, yeah. how much, yeah. and I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like, there's a bigger picture in this life. Yeah. Like, there's bigger things to do. Yeah, yeah. Outside this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot way more shit to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why you're on the pod. He's a heavy hitter. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. like he said he was born into this. You know what I'm saying? He ain't playing around, buddy. He ain't playing around. He ain't playing around. He ain't but I mean, like, around. like, don't get me wrong. Like, I obviously like it a lot because. I have like fucking four race trips, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I obviously do like it a lot, but like I yeah. said, I do it for myself because yeah. it's what I like. I like to have, and I don't even go to the racetrack that much. I probably go once every two months or one. Yeah. Now I've been going testing recently every Thursday. So for the last two months, I've been going almost every Thursday. Mm. But that's because I'm testing. I yeah. seen that when when you vlog, when it, when you go like racing, the views are like they're really good. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I try. I have a little YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, I I kind of slack a lot on it, but it's because like I said, I'm we're always busy here. Life and, and stuff, yeah running errands and up and down and and like right now so i decided to actually dedicate myself to youtube now not like a full-time job or anything like that right now he decided to dedicate no, on no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. well i, I, I just the shop 100 percent youtube <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i decided to put more effort into it yeah because i honestly like a lot of people fuck with me bro like ever since yeah. day one a lot of people fuck with me yeah so um no, my, my cameraman's on vacation right now he's been in mexico for three weeks Hey, we need you to come back. Yeah, don't stay, don't stay next Monday. On Monday, I'm going to drop like a shitload of vlogs. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Now, I seen you, the, I, the first time I seen you was racing the blue truck, your deals. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. when I first seen I was like, damn, that's a nice truck. It used to be a nitrous truck. When it used to be a nitrous, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, phew. Yeah, yeah, fucking, whoa, I started running it like in 2011. Yeah. yeah. Damn. 2011, yeah. Uh, crazy. And the other, and the other, um, the trucks you have? So, you have Jenny 69, you have the Ford. I have the Ford, I have the maroon truck. The maroon one, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one's a Dart 427 on a... It's an NA build or...? Oh, no, it's turbo. Turbo? Okay. Oh, That's yeah. another turbo truck. Um, it's a 427, 94mm uh, turbo. That one's full weight, has AC and everything still, full interior. Um, that one is more streetable. It's on pump E85 from the gas station and shit like that. I can drive that bitch up and down. The truck goes 850s and a quarter mile. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty fast for being a street truck. So... What truck do you compete with the 750 class? I actually don't have a 750 truck. I actually just well, built you, it. Didn't I you? just built it. Oh. Yeah. Last time I went to the 750 class, they were giving 10 grand, so I put this bitch in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you some clips so you can post it. I'm going to turn here. it down. Let's yeah. see what nah, it there's does. There's no way to turn it down. It's a Whipple. Oh. So I'm talking about I'll take off and not even like. So you got to pedal it or what? Oh, no, bro. I'm talking about like I would take off 
And like around 200 feet out, I would just let go. And I would just coast it, and I would go 750 around the dot. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Semifinals, and I broke with a 749. Wow. Oh. Or 747, something like that. So you should have broke. I let go way before. I even hit the brake. If I show you the video, you'll be like, there's no way. I, you, I saw that you put a YouTube uh, you channel on that. Show me, show me, show me. Show you. Like, you posted on, uh, on YouTube about it. Like, tampoco, yeah, you yeah, were yeah. just breaking at him. So who won the first? Who won first? Um, honestly, I don't know. I didn't. You, didn't, you don't care? Yeah, well, I don't care. Yeah, I was... 10 bands yeah. for a 750, though? That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. I actually built a 750 truck now. I'm actually taking it to the paint shop next week. Yeah. yeah it's an OBS, a 98. Mm. I put a little LS2 on it with LS3 heads, um, a decent-sized cam, built 4065, 4,000 converter, shit like that. So even if you had Lund, you, so Lund couldn't even turn it down if you hit him up? Like, hey, can you turn this down? I mean, so the thing with the whip was that you got to... Pull it up or pull it down, and it's on a pretty small pulley, so it makes like 19 pounds. It's not like a turbo oh. that you just talk with the boost controller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if I would hit, if I were to hit up Lund, I'm like, hey, take out all the timing on it, and yeah, yeah. It probably still break fucking the same. It will break the same 50 still. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Get Damn. Ford, somebody. You gotta buy a Ford. Make it, be, make it be change it up. So I know, right? Yeah. I'm thinking about buying a Ford too. Yeah. Oh, they're fast. Yeah, Damn. My bad, Omar. Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the best tuner in Houston? You know, like Flaco was the first. I'll say something. One of the first like shots fired. All over one of the place. first in Pasadena, right? Yeah, yeah. Flaco was one, one of the first. first. He's always been a really good tuner. Ever yeah. since back in the day, he's been yeah. a fucking badass tuner. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you gotta understand, like, like back in the day. I mean, he was testing. He a was lot. the only real tuner out here. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta think about it. Yeah. He was probably packed with work and yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So he probably couldn't get to everybody. Yeah. What, so who do you think is one of the best tuners in Houston? Or is the best in Houston? There's a lot of good tuners, bro. There's there's a lot. There's, yeah. there's a lot of tuners. Top For three. sure, hands down, Flacco is one of the best. Yeah. Um, you have Caesar from Horsepower Factory. Oh, he gets down, bro. He's a he really good. He's a really good tuner too. He tuned my truck. My yeah, truck. Caesar's a really, really, really good tuner. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. I mean, there's other big shops too, like uh, Pro Speed. Um, there, there's a lot of shops, bro. Now, like I said, now there's a lot of tuners. Like I said, not everybody knows how to use a laptop, but yeah. but they, there's good tuners out here. There's really good tuners. I was going to say top so, three. What's your top three, you know? He just said. Oh, I know. Flaco, yeah, Flaco, yeah. Caesar, um, yeah. Pro Speed. Yeah. Pro Speed. Yeah. So there who you tunes your trucks the most? Like, who do you trust the most? Like, hey, I'm going to take my truck because he's going to get down no matter what. So right now, as of right now, Flaco's doing my tuning. He's tuning Jenny, and uh, he's tuning my maroon truck as well. Yeah. Um, Caesar also tunes a lot of trucks for me. Oh, yeah. 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 I need to get him on the podcast, to be honest. Oh, yeah. He'd be fired. I'm sure he'd be down. He's pretty cool. Yeah, Caesar. Yeah. He tuned my truck. See, hey, remember I, you tuned my truck? Let me get <laughs> Remember, like, a decade ago, you, you tuned my truck? Nah, it was, like, two years ago. Okay, my bad. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> I'm not that old, right? <laughs> I mean, you made, like, start doing YouTube. You said... Uh, Freddie would come here all the time, and yeah. he'd be like, hey, start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. I'm like, nah, nah. Start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. Nah, nah. And so one day, he, I was uh, building my maroon truck. And I was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to make a video of the whole process, putting the motor, putting the turbo, putting the transmission on, and all that shit. That was my first video, actually, on YouTube, uh, yeah. putting it together in my maroon truck. Yeah. And, and then taking it to the dyno on the next video and shit like that. I made, like, 1,050 to the wheels and shit like that. You, you were talking about, like, you think Freddie was, like, también ayudándote también? Because I remember back in the day, not, well, not so long ago. Yeah, was, so, like, um, when I met Freddie... Um, I didn't know who Freddie was. I honestly, way like this YouTube shit, like I didn't even know it existed. Like I knew about YouTube because I would listen to music or music videos or yeah. funny videos, yeah. but I never. I don't know. I guess I was like in my own world. I didn't never knew about vlogging or yeah. none of that shit. Way. So when Freddie, I don't know where one day, um, I already had my shop and uh, I had just opened it, and uh, I guess I was known here like already like around town. Because, you know, because I used to work with Juan in high school and stuff like that, and from racing and, you know, being a cagapalos and shit like that, so people knew me. <laughs> and uh, one day on my Instagram, it just started going crazy. Um, they started tagging me one day. I, I, and back back in the day, like, back in the day when I had just started, like, it was me and my homeboy, Chilin, the Comandante Morguesa. He, he used yeah, to yeah. help me a lot. Shout out to Morguesa, I, I talk about, it was me and him busting ass here, like, till 1, 2 in the morning. Damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah. But back in the day, I would also party a lot. <laughs> so I wouldn't get here that early to the shop. Yeah. yeah. So I probably would get out back in the day. I'm and I was way young. I'm talking. This was five years ago. Yeah. Oh, I just turned 27. I was like 22 when I got the shop. Mm. So you know what I'm saying? Like I would party and 
I get to the shop like around 11 in the morning. And oh, like, cool. Hey, <laughs> but I mean, thank God I always had a, my mechanic here, a maestro. He's been here with me since day one. So he would open the shop at 8 and I would just leave him what to do the next day. What to, you know, like I would give him yeah. orders or stuff like that. And um, but I would get here like around 11 a.m. whatever, and man, from 11 a.m. to fucking one two in the morning, me and Chilin would be fucking. <laughs> the hard part about transmission, bro, is like when you gotta take it apart yourself and wash it yourself. That's like the part nobody wants to do. You mm -hmm. get all dirty and you're washing that bitch. Yeah. When, if somebody takes a part for you, washes it and put it on the table like all nice and neat, and you just come and build that whole like all oh, faithful like just yeah. chilling. Yeah. So Chilin would take them apart for me, wash them, put them on the table, and I just be. So he did the dirty work. He did the dirty work. I did the dirty work. <laughs> fucking one, two in the morning. <laughs> and yeah, and that's how that's how it started. So I already had a little bit of clientele from around here. People that knew me. You know, people that supported me from here. Yeah. Like friends and family, stuff like that. And then one day my Instagram just went crazy. People started tagging me and tagging me. And um, they were tagging, uh, they tagged me on a post and I, I clicked on it. And some guy was like, hey, who can do a transmission, blah, 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 this and that. Uh, my, this is like my fourth or fifth transmission I messed up. Damn. And it said Freddy LSX, and I was like, I don't know who the fuck this is. Uh, I just ignored it. I didn't even message them or nothing. But I had like like over 40 people tag me on the post, I think. Mm. So I don't know where it was like. I'm talking about it was like 11 o'clock at night. My phone rings. I was like, oh, hello? I'm like, hey, uh, blah, blah, blah. they just tagged you on my post. A lot of people tag me that you're the guy to go to for transmissions. I'm like, oh, yeah, I mean, I do transmissions. They're like, hey, well, I'm like on my seventh one. Damn. Damn! I need something bulletproof, the this and that, blah, blah, blah. everything. And I'm like, oh, well, I can do it. And he's like, around how much? And I'm like, well, look, back then, transmissions were way cheaper than now. Yeah. Everything went up. Yeah. But the price I gave him was kind of expensive back then because he told me he wanted something bulletproof. Yeah. And, well, I already knew the recipe for a bulletproof 460 because we had already ran nines in them back in the day. Yeah. So I told him, like, look, you're going to waste about this much. I was like, hey, um... That's a little bit too much. He's like, I'm going to go to your shop. I'm going to make a video, this and that. And I was like, man, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about video. <laughs> I was straight up, I didn't know about YouTube. I didn't know nothing. I was like, hey, honestly, like, hey, bro, that's the price. I was like, I could probably take off like 100 bucks or 200 bucks, I think I told him. And he's like, fuck it. He's like, can you open the shop right now? And I was like, bro, I just Damn. got home. Damn. <laughs> so I was like, I put out yeah, I was like, fuck it. I, I'll go open the shop right now. But I didn't come. I called Maestro. Maestro was barely leaving too. And I, hey, can you go back and open the shop? They're about to drop off a truck. He's like, yeah. So a tow truck came and dropped off the truck. And that's it. I didn't even meet Freddie that night or nothing. Yeah. Next day he comes and he comes with like a camera. And he starts recording me. Like, hey, what's up? So what are we doing? This and that. I'm like, oh, look, we're going to do this, 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 blah, blah, blah. And when we took off his transmission, man, I knew why he was fucking up his transmission. He had a bullshit ass converter on there. Mm. He had one of those uh, TCI, the small, like the ones for like F bodies from back in the gap. Like yeah, yeah. those converters are literally like probably meant just for track use. Oh. Like they don't even have a lockup clutch. The converter never locks up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, So I was like, hey, bro, this part of your, you know, this part of your problem. But then I opened his, it was a built transmission. I opened it, it was stock. Yeah, so we hooked them up. Um, That transmission is still on that truck to this day. <laughs> yeah, 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 and that was, I'm talking about. You said it like GMC, right? Yeah, I'm talking about, this was like, I want to say four and a half years ago. Damn. Yeah, Damn. But so that transmission, it, it's so. Yeah, it's look Yeah, it's five pinion plant series, like the OEM ones, the, the 65 plant series. It got the uh, Sonic Smart Tech drum with input shaft. It got the Sonic's output shaft. It got the Sonic Sun Shell. It got the Transgo Shift Kit. It got wide band, double drum. I mean, it got it got nice shit in there. Yeah, you know? yeah. Billet or all billet? Or? I mean, they're considered billet, but I mean, it's it's not. Yeah. You know, they, they say it's billet, but you know, it's it's, yeah. it's Sonic. Look it up. Sonic's is yeah, Sonic one of the most expensive parts. Yeah, one of the best. Yeah, like just the output shaft is like seven hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. The Smart Tech drum is like twelve hundred with the input shaft. Yeah. So you're wasting over two grand just on parts. Parts. So yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You ain't lying about that one. And then plus, and then so I hooked them up with a converter. We put a multi disc. Uh, I think it was a Precision Industries uh, converter. We put a multi disc on there. So he, he did drop a little bag um, back in the day for that transmission. Yeah. And it's, but it's been on there for all these shows already. Damn. He takes it to burn out and fucking wheels. So and then so I've been doing his transmissions on all his trucks already. And um, the C10, he hit me up like this was like two years ago when he went to SEMA. Like hey, I'm going to SEMA. And yeah, transmission, I'm leaving tomorrow for the T10. I need an extra one or whatever, because this one's already gone. He had about the truck. The green one, That's the, the red one. That came out on the, the magazine, right? Yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, hey, the only transmission I got ready right now, it's a built 4060. But like, you know, it's just a regular built 4060, like for regular customers that push like 500 horsepower. Yeah. Times, you know, our, our, our entry level 4060. Yeah. Like, I need it. I'm like, bro, I know your foot. Like, but I'm like, man, fuck it, take it. 
Circuit, bro, that transmission has been on there for two years. He's popped like two dry shots and shit, and that bitch is still there. The oil's red as hell. Entry level trans. That's the one he did the SEMA, like burnout time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like so the burnout, I mean, the, the, yeah, the burnout he was doing. We're caught on all fire and shit. Oh my Damn. God. Compare. Triple P ain't messing around. Holding. Yeah, the other day they came to pick up a transmission for the new burnout truck he built like two weeks ago. Vargas came to pick up one. They're like, hey, we popped the dry shaft in uh, Colorado on the C10. You know, when the oil came off on the transmission way, it's still red, like if you poured it like brand new. Damn. He messing what? around. The right? yeah. If they're built right, all it is is you have to have good suspension, no ghetto drops. You have to have cow tracks, a good positive unit, and a good transmission cooler. What's a ghetto drop? Shit, fucking heated leaf springs and, you know. Cause springs. <laughs> Shit, that's yeah. a ghetto ass drop. Yeah, I right know. Say no names. Say no names. Yeah. Hey, so let me ask you this. You've been in the truck scene for a very long time. What has changed from the truck scene since you started? Man, a lot of shit. Damn, <laughs> my ass hurts already. <laughs> <laughs> Take a uh, break. Wants it, bro. A lot of things, way. A lot, a lot of things. Um, I think you could say the culture. Mm, it's like I got you. I mean, from the type of racing, like the truck scene I came to, what it is now. It's more like about jobs and replica rims, and you know, like. Shit like that, and I mean, don't get me wrong, bed. it's nice, you know, like it's it's cool too. But, but I think back in the day, the truck scene was more, more about racing and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just burnouts or like all these people doing takeovers and shit like that. That's just fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's evolved into something. It, don't get me wrong, it got bigger. Yeah. It got better. You know. Oh, yeah. it's, uh, it's a good thing. Like it, it it it's it's a good thing too. Definitely got bigger. Yeah, it got way you bigger. You think you think YouTubers sparked it off to take off bigger? Yeah, for sure. Especially yeah. on TikTok right now, sure. bro. TikTok and YouTube. I know. I know that um, back in the day, even if you had a, a a race truck or a clean truck or whatever, like it was very serious. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you have a fast truck, you go, lo quiero bien bonito y quién sabe qué. Yeah. I wanted it to do this. But if you had a, a clean truck, I better have my you know back in the day 24s, 22s polished down. Back and in I was 2012, up, if yeah. you saw a truck with like HD front, color match, and some 26 inch billets. Like, damn, that's yeah. a sick-ass build. You know? yeah. That was, like, the shit back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, like, very important when you pull up to a truck. Like, you knew who that was pulling up. Yeah. Oh, look, I have aquel vato. Oh, I have aquel. Oh, if you saw a badass truck on Bogarts on the street. Bogarts. Oh, it's aquel vato. Oh, man. Back then, you wouldn't see Bogarts. Yeah. Now, you see them everywhere. I mean, there's a lot of shit now, like, Snap Finance, Asima, and all that shit. I remember Bogarts. You see me, like, I used to think, like, when I used to see Bogarts, like, oh, that truck's fast. You saw a truck on Front Runners, you'd be like, oh, yeah. God, like damn. <laughs> Yeah, he's serious. Hell yeah, and they look serious. Sick as hell. Like, they yeah. Look sick as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you automatically thought like, damn, that truck's fast. Like no matter if it's not fast, like it's fast. And not everybody had them back then. Whales yeah. or bogars, like yeah. it was rare for you to see a truck like that. What are the so what are the future plans for the trucks you got? So right now, like I said, just uh, Jenny taking it to a suspension shop. But after that, it's gonna be like on hold everything. Just mm. go to the events. So I got other plans going on right now. So. um like, I want to expand it. Like, because I'm to the point in this shop where I outgrew this shop, like, two, three years ago. So, uh, I outgrew this shop, like, two, three years ago already. So, I bought the lot next door with a little house, but I just tore the house down recently. But Pasadena, they're, like, assholes with the premise and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to build a bigger, well, not a bigger shop, but my plan is to build a nice warehouse over there. But it's not going to be a shop. That's where I'm going to park all my personal vehicles. I'm, oh. I'm gonna make a shop with AC and everything, but I'm for my personal shit. And I'm gonna make a nice uh, front office where the customers can go and chill. And I'm gonna knock this little office down and I'm gonna open another bay and put more lifts in here. It's mm. gonna be. There's a plan. I mean, at the end of the day, like, we get shit done, bro. Like, yeah. it's a small shop, but if you, you, I know you've seen all the trucks outside right now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get shit done and. Yeah, turbo and, trucks, twin turbo, triple yeah, turbo. Yeah, like outside, trucks. there's like two turbo trucks outside. There's yeah, those white. <laughs> pro charge truck, whipple truck, there's, yeah. there's all over there. Like, we got that white Honda. Monster trucks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's a bad truck right there. That was crazy. <laughs> like the fucking Toyota. Nah, Honda's that was bro. crazy. Toyota Tacoma with the two Jay-Z. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's so, crazy. those are the plans. I'm going to make a where I'm gonna, I need to expand the shop. That's, and there's another lot next to it that I'm probably going to buy, too. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, those are some of the plans I got. And not only that, I mean... Um, I want to do something else too, like this, like this shit's cool and everything. But like, you want to invest in something? That, yeah, I want to like yeah. invest something else or other stuff. That's nice. Which I'm already in the works of all that stuff. Like, I got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Um, 
Tell us about a time in the truck scene, like you had a unforgettable moment. Besides the one you getting locked up, besides like the tickets and stuff like that. So one time, uh, another fun fact. Fun fact. We went racing uh, one night in a homeboy. Mind you, all some probation for. It. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, we were on I ten, like towards Sealy, and it was like yeah. probably like 50, 60 cars. And at that moment, like, like just seeing uh, this was like back in the day too, like. The actual, the cars that were there racing that night, and, like, it was, like, something from a movie where, like, I'm talking about 60 cars on I-10, like, Damn. just creeping, and, like, it wasn't no bullshit cars. It yeah. was, like, fast-ass shit. Yeah. And, like, Vets, Camaros, fucking Mustangs. like Little snakes and runners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, just remember that scene, that scene, that, that, like, me actually driving there and seeing all the cars next to me and shit, like, it was, like, something from a movie. Yeah. And then I got lit up racing a... Uh, a twin turbo uh, G37 or something like that. I don't know what it was. It was like 700 per, 700 per car. And we're like going like 140 on I-10 and they lit us up and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So I put it over like to pull it. Yeah. You know, I'm, a, yeah. I'm not going to, well, I'm not going to say I'm not going to run, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on running that day and uh, I started pulling over, going to the shoulder and my homeboy, is, my homeboy Martin is like, Chat some more. Like, hey, wait, what the fuck you doing? I'm like, pulling over, we just got lit up. Like, motherfucker, there's over 70 cars racing on the fucking highway, <laughs> and you're pulling over because he got behind you. Like, he, he lit me up, but he's like, you, you're pulling over? Lose this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I remember. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. He hey, thought. He thought. He thought. <laughs> you know what, bro? We're actually going to call the cops right now. I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sir, after a certain amount of years, they can't yeah. do nothing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It was like back in 2016. Oh, shit. My bad, bro. You grudge race uh, uh, still or not? Yeah, like, I'm the type of person where that I don't really, like, look for the drama, but I guess it comes with it. Like, when you <laughs> yeah, that, when you yeah. that, when, I'm not going to say the word. Yeah, yeah. But when you that. I don't know, but you know, we know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, when you that personnel, it, it comes Nat with it. Natural. Even if you don't even try, like, just, I guess just people, like, clout chasing or something, you know, mm. like, like, stupid shit like that. Yeah, they're like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people are on some stupid shit these days. So, so, but, so but like, if you come up to me at the track, like, hey, let's run for money, like, I'm not going to say no. Like, you know, like, I'll run you. Like, like, and if I know you're going to beat me, I'm obviously not going to donate money to you. Like, knowing that you... <laughs> not, like, I'm not going to donate to you, like... Five, charity, they care, okay? I'm not going to donate to you five, six grand, but I'll donate, like, a cool thousand or two thousand, you know? Like, for the donation. Donation! Yeah, just so you don't say that, 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 that I didn't want to raise, you know? Yeah. And if you really want to get stupid about it, I'll probably be like, oh, well, let's flip a coin for, like, five grand. Yeah. It's a 50 50 chance, you know, like, yeah, yeah, because there's people that try to take advantage of shit like that, you know. I know people from Atlanta that do that, right? Have you ever had a time where they didn't pay? Nah, they've always paid. Yeah, <laughs> no, wait, <laughs> like son de vatos, they gotta pay. Son yeah. chingo de vatos, you know, no, yeah, they gotta pay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, what if they don't? Or, like, they try oh, to nah. run away. There was a dude on TikTok who he betted, right? I've seen what, uh, one of the shootouts. Um, I think it was one of the midnight races where I don't know who. And this guy was betting, like, everybody, like, 2000 3000 yeah. I don't know who lost, but everybody chased that motherfucker out. Bro, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. So what happens? Yeah. Like, so nah, when hey, I like that. that day, I saw it, like, up close and personal. Like, they were trying to whoop his ass, but there was a lot of police. Yeah. Mm. So they just kicked the guy out and... The guy ran to the police because they were trying to whoop his ass. Oh, my. He, got, he didn't pay and he got escorted out, but he got, Damn. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he got, he was going to get his ass whooped. You know what like, He was going to yeah. get his ass whooped. Damn. Shoot. So what are they, so what's like, what's considered a grudge, a grudge race to you as far as when it comes to the pot? Like, what don't you race for? Like, five, 500, 1,000, like, what, what, what's a no? Like, I, I say like a grudge race, a minimum should be at least 500. A minimum. You think it's worth it though? Friends and family. Like not, you gotta, you gotta. It's not, but you maybe, got an eighty thousand dollars. For, for example, right now you got a yeah, yeah. seventy five thousand dollar truck. No, right? I see what you're saying, but like, so like, well, this is the thing with me. Like, you don't say my own way. Mm. Like, I'm not gonna like if I have money or if I don't have money, I'm not gonna try to shut somebody up because I got more money. Because mm. it's, it's real easy. Like, if you want to go with somebody. That you really don't want to raise, or you just want to like humiliate him, or like, hey, let's run for twenty thousand. Oh, I got going damn well, he don't got twenty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But that's not the point of it. At the end of the day, it's a sport, and you're in it because you like to race. You you didn't build the truck because oh I'm gonna go grudge race. You built the truck because you like this shit. Yeah. So, okay, so let me ask you. Let me say this. You got a 
You got a hundred and sixty thousand dollar truck. Why the f you got twenty grand? Yeah, but not everybody has a hundred sixty thousand dollar truck. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or, or, a lot of people go broke building it because it's something oh. they like. Is is yeah, it's yeah. their hobby? They yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you gotta. Like I said, I'm real. Like I'm understandable with people, and I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Chile, like I don't like to be cocky or nothing yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I understand, I always see the picture that, like, you got to think about it in everybody's shoes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got you to gotta, like, you gotta see everybody's point of view. Yeah. yeah. But, like I said, I mean, if you're talking, like, now, if they're talking shit on some stupid shit, yeah, yeah. Well, I can get stupid too, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. What, what's the highest you have won on a grudge? think, like, 4,000. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know? Lightweight? Yeah, what? something like, like, like yeah. Lightweight, yeah. It's nothing like nothing, nothing crazy like ten yeah. or twenty thousand. I feel like you know that's cool that you, you normally do it as a hobby kind of. It sounds like it's, it's not. I mean, of course it's a sport. Yeah. yeah of course it gets down with money. Yeah. But you're like, ah, pues como 500, pues si quieres, you know. I feel like you do yeah, it like, for I, friends like, and family type stuff. Like if somebody tells me like, hey, let's run for five hundred, like, oh, that's cool, like you know, yeah. a thousand, that's cool, you know, like. Pues como quieres, like you. They, yeah, I, yeah. I, like I, look, I a scenario you. happened like a couple months ago. I'm not gonna say no names or nothing, but Pásale, compadre. Tírale. I was at a Texas 2K meet or whatever the hell, and some guy for some reason they wanted to race me or whatever. They were like, like I said, like drama looks for you, and you don't even, you, know, you, don't, even, <laughs> you don't even think <laughs> about it echar, like that. Or, you know yeah, so they <laughs> started talking and this and that, and like, hey, uh, mind you, way the drama in the in the truck scene is not even the owners making the drama. It's the fucking cheerleaders. The the, mm. the fool without the truck is the one that has the, mo the biggest mouth. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So they come out to me, like, whatever, this and that. And this guy, the owner's not even talking, bro. And I know the owner since he was like, whatever. I've been knowing him for years. Yeah. And uh, the other guy's talking, just talking, talking, talking. And, hey, how much, how much, this and that. Like, talking like, oh, okay, we're going to raise, we're going to raise, we're going to raise. Like, all right, we're racing. How much? And he tells me in front of all his homeboys, like a little 15 or... 10 people with a little wall like he's on. Who were you with? By yourself or? Uh, I think I was with one homeboy. Oh. Yeah, they were like 10 deep or whatever. And um, he's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, we're racing, whatever. I'm like, I'm like, how much, you know? And he's like, you put the price, he tells me. What the and hell? I, and like me, that? me, damn, knowing this guy, I'm, I'm like, I know a lot of people, Wayne, like, I know what they're about and what they're yeah, not about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, wait, don't do that to yourself, Wayne. Like, you know, <laughs> just, just say a price and, you know, we'll go from there. Yeah. Ah, can okay, you put the price? Like, hey, wait. I'm like, look, just tell me how much you want to bet, and I'm going to agree to it. Whatever you say, I'm going to agree to it. Yeah. Nah, you put the price. I'm like, hey, wait, stop. Still, wait. Like, like still? stop, wait. Mm -hmm. So at the end, he told me, fuck it, three grand. Lock in. And he gives me my hand. I'm like, fuck it. We lock in for three grand. Cool. I leave. We continue watching the it was Texas 2K, some big night. Yeah. And just because I reset in my phone, wait, if not, I will show you. The next day, he calls me. Like, hey, wait, my bad, this and that, but last night that we are homeboys, that we shouldn't be doing this. I don't want to bet the three grand no more. Can we bring it down to 500 or 1,000? What? And I knew that. Well, that's why I told him, don't do this to yourself. I know what's up. Wait, I know a lot yeah. of You know what I'm saying? So I'm like. And he the one that said three. Yeah, three. so I'm recording the phone call. I got the video on one of my phones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm recording the phone call, and I'm just laughing. Wait, I'm like, because I already know what's up. You know, like, they're not about it. Damn. So whatever. So, but like I said, I'm I don't like to be cocky. I don't like to be my mom. Like, so I was like, hey, wait, you know what? Like, like I already knew he was being a clown. Yeah. So damn. I was like, go ahead with that one away. We're doing it for a thousand. Don't worry about it. Sí quedó. And don't get me wrong. The actual owner of the truck beat me. Mm. That race, he beat me. Like that day, it was I think it was like uh, I don't know if it was a. Uh, I want to say it was Truck Nationals or it was oh. uh, or the April shoot. I don't remember. But basically the track wasn't good no more, so we turned my truck down or whatever the fuck. Whatever the case, he won. He His yeah. truck is fast. My truck is fast. At the end of the day, if we ever race and we both make solid passes, it's going to be a really, really good run. Nice. His truck is fast. I don't take nothing away from his truck. His truck's fast. But at the end of the day, it's like I said. I not, wish we knew what truck you're talking about. It's not even the owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking all the shit. And maybe he did, but not to me, not in my face. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it the don't, it, it don't even count. It's the cheerleaders yeah, yeah. that make all this drama, way. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, you kind of save some money. <laughs> I mean, you said you yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, oh, but yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, if I talk, si yo hablo, yo lo sostengo. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got my nuts put on, you know? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. care. That's, yeah. Pero, pues, that, that, I mean, that's how it is. Yeah. That's crazy, man. What truck was it? My maroon truck. I raced it with my maroon truck. Oh, okay. okay. I, I ran it with my maroon truck. Damn. Nah, like, and, I, and like I said, I mean, 
Jen is way faster than my maroon truck, way, way faster. Yeah. Like, if I was really a dick about it, I could be like, oh, we're running with Jenny. Yeah. But the deal was with that truck, so you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, like I say, people take this shit too serious, way. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Need a, they need to get, yeah, they need to get their head out their ass and something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, bro. You think they need to get humbled or something? Oh, they've got humbled like before. Like people get, oh. there's always gonna be somebody faster than you, way. Like yeah, that, yeah. that's what people don't understand, way. Like at the end of the day, how people say it's just money, way. Yeah. There's a motherfucker with more money than you. There's a motherfucker with, with like, there's always gonna be yeah. somebody with something faster, way. Like, oh, way. At the end yeah, of the day, yeah. if they fight or not fight, or if they talk shit or not talk shit, if they lose or win or whatever, yeah. at the end of the day, it's all good for the truck community or for the truck scene yeah. or for the racing scene. It, yeah. It's all part of the show, way. You yep. know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Like I said, some people take it to another level, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Yeah, that's true. When you got the shop, right? You were, you said you're 22 years old. Yeah, 20, 21. 21. Yeah, I, I got it when I was 21. I opened it when I was like 22. So okay, so first of all, congratulations. You've been open for what five, six years? This seven, is really my eight, sixth year. Six years? Yeah, six years. Going on to seven, yeah. Damn, congrats. Um, did you know you're always? You say you're gonna do transmissions, builds. Transmissions. Transmissions. Oh, always knew oh yeah, that's right. It's okay. You do, yeah, you do yeah. transmissions. I was like one. I was like that hard-headed kid in school that the teachers would be like, "You're not gonna do nothing with your life and this and that." And I'm like, gonna have a shop. Were you were you like the popular guys in high school or what? Or más o menos o eran los? Have you seen those TikTokers <laughs> and like the the ASL kids? Era caga palos, güey. La ASL or no? Nah, I wasn't in ASL. I wasn't in ASL, <laughs> but my cousins were in ASL. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to hang out there too. You know, it was, it, we, yeah, my yeah, my principals didn't like me. Now I have them all on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you watching what I do. <laughs> so, okay, so you, you build transmissions. So what do you charge for the transmission? If somebody wants to build like a 406? It just depends. We, uh, ever since COVID hit, everything went up and not even that. Like everything's just more expensive. When I originally opened the shop, me taking all the transmission, me rebuilding it and putting it back on, I was charging like 1400 mm. Like everything out the door. Right now, I'm charging 2300 like on regular, like built 460s. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the entry level ones. Re rebuilt. Yeah, like performance built, but like, you know, the entry level ones. Yeah. Like, you know, like not, not a 65 or stuff yeah. like that. It's good for 500, 550 horsepower. Yeah. Um, I charge like 2300, 2400 on them. What's the most a 460 can put down on the dyno on a full weight truck? We've put down 936 to the wheels before. On a 460? Yeah, for, it was a 470 or whatever you want to call it. For. It's a 460 platform. Yeah. Um, it was a 440 LSX on a 350 shot of nitrous. Damn. Yeah. On 26 inch intros. And you built that. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> you ain't say that part. Around, <laughs> dog. Don't forget those 26s, big dog. Yeah. Hey. So, I mean, we, and it ran nines in the quarter mile. So, I mean, like I said, the sauce is there. Like, we know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, a lot of people don't understand where, like, like I said, it, like, I said, like, it's not just, like, look, I'm going to put it real simple to you. Yeah. I have a TH400 on my maroon truck. I have a TH400 on my uh, uh, Jenny 69. Yeah. The one on the maroon truck, that one I pay like 10000 for it. 9900 for that truck. Because it's like a magazine transmission, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. The one on Jenny, I pay like 16000 for it. The m, m Yeah, the m, m Yeah. Um, they're all aftermarket Ks. They're aftermarket Ks. It's not a stock case. You know, it's, 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 it's a nice, they're both nice transmissions. Yeah. I've already fucked them up. Damn. And I rebuilt it myself. I, now I rebuilt it myself. Now I, I rebuilt it. But I already bought them from the manufacturer, from them. Like, you know, because those transmissions, they're not like a regular rebuild. They're custom CNC planters, yeah. drums, and shit like that. So it's a little bit different, you know? Anyway, I paid fucking 16 grand for a transmission. I fucked it up. I don't fucking call the fucking m, &M. Hey, I fucked up my transmission. Do I got warranty? Oh. You know what you're doing, wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know? By the end of the day, whatever. I give warranty here at the shop. I try to help everybody out, whatever. But it's like a lot of people don't understand where, like, you have to have good suspension, cow tracks at least, a good div, good shocks. You have to have a good transmission cooler, you know, good transmission lines. Yeah. And, man, a lot of people that come, they don't have none of that stuff. Wait, like, and then you tell them no you warranty. Tell them, no, no, and I still give them warranty. You warranty with yeah. no suspension? Uh, but no I tell this? them, I'm like, hey, bro, like, Please put this on, or I try to tell everybody, but I, I'm right, to, right now I'm to the point where like they don't listen. Way some do, don't get me wrong, some don't. And like I said, I try to understand everybody. Way like uh, living is not cheap right now, so I know they got all this shit to pay for. So I try to understand everybody. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it, like this is an expensive hobby. Way yeah, if you're gonna be out there burning out and doing stupid shit. Like it comes with consequences. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, at the end of the day, I try to help everybody out. Like they say, they do break the transmission. 
if they break it, they bring it back. Cause I, I usually give everybody six months warranty. If they do break it, like if it comes back broken in pieces or whatever, I just tell them like, hey, just pay for the parts and I do the labor for free. Yeah. And so they're not paying what they paid originally. They'll pay way. Like I usually charge twenty three hundred, twenty four hundred. If they come with it broken, they'll probably pay eight hundred bucks, seven hundred yeah. bucks. Damn. Damn. So, <clears throat> so you don't give a warranty even if, I mean. If it's a stock truck, like completely bone, like a viejito driving it, or even if it's a young guy driving it, but if it's a stock work truck or whatever, it has a year warranty. Whatever happens, so you bring it back, you don't pay nothing. Damn. Yeah. Like regular people truck. Oh, I wouldn't even give warranties. I mean, to the people that yeah. you gotta remember the 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 dead flex. Yeah. Like, like, and then and then and then it's like the dry shaft. If your pinion angle is not oh, right, and, and it's then gonna, like what pisses me off sometimes is that the moms be coming. Like the moms or the dads, like, hey, why my son's truck break? Oh my! Yeah. And I'm just like, and I already know, cause I mean, obviously they don't know. And then to every parent, their son doesn't break a plate. They're angels. <laughs> so no, no, you, no, you, no, you, you gotta no, sit, no. you gotta sit here and tell them, ma'am, your son, he be doing some dumb shit. Yeah, no, nope. you know what you should tell him. He only drives to school. You know what you should tell him. You know what you should tell him. Like, hey, hey, do you mind checking the back tires real quick? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, like, do they feel warm? Yeah. it's I mean, crazy. You see, like, do you remember? You and I know, like, all this shit I've seen in this. Like, I've seen it really? all. Yeah, I was, think, but at the end of the day, like I said, I try to be understandable and uh, do you think I try to support everybody to as much as I can. Yeah. Now, there's just some people that are fucking like, you try to help them and they're like idiots. Yeah. And those are the ones where, like, the people that you help the most are the ones that actually backfires on you. Oh. Yeah, like that. It's, 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 it's crazy, but. It's part of the business. That's how. It, and, and no, like no business is perfect, and everybody has problems everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure. But now, I mean, we usually we don't have a lot of stuff here, but because yeah. I talk to every customer when they come and I explain, or like, if, like man, I've seen some clapped out trucks that come here, and like, bro, <laughs> the pin angle facing like oh, like oh, uh, frame hey, broken in half, and I've seen some crazy shit. Like, hey, yo, bro, I, I don't, I'm not a, you know, I don't do drives, compadre. You gotta take it somewhere <laughs> first, you know. Like, I've seen some shit like. Like crazy ass shit. Do you think like the dads and the parents like? Do you think they they like when you talk to them about it and everything? Do you think they'll be like okay with it? Oh, I guess. I ain't gonna you. lie. There's some parents that understand. Like they yeah, know they what they have at home. Parents, yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but there's some there's some that like, oh my kid does not break a plate. Like no, that cannot be. No, he just drives to school. He yeah. just drives to school. Oh, like, nah, yeah, nah, type nah. of shit. Like, yeah, I'm not. But um, other than that, I mean, I'm pretty cool with everybody. And I, I like I said, I talked to everybody beforehand, and most of the people leave understanding. Real. Like the other day, we did a truck or whatever. Some old school guy and um, his transmission came all burnt up. His converter was all burnt up. So we did a whole rebuild on it, new sensors, new converter. And every time we turn on a truck or whatever, we scan it with the computer. We drive it around. We let it idle for like 20, 30 minutes. And we check the transmission temperature on it, you know? Yeah. So the truck on idle, the transmission was going like to 190. Like just standing there. Damn. And it shouldn't be that high, like, you know? So I call like the dude. I'm like, hey, you, when you... 40, 150, something like that? Yeah, like when it were... Anywhere, even up to 180, wait, 185. Yeah. And like, hey, um, your truck's in your transmission cooler. I recommend you put one because your transmission did come all burnt up. And it was probably because it is that, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, oh, no, you're just trying to get more money out of me. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> I really don't want more money, wait. Like, it's just, you need a transmission cooler and it's this much. Nah. Um, my truck didn't come with it from dealership, so why am I going to put it? Oh my god. I'm like, god. oh, your truck also came with zero miles from dealership, not fucking 300 miles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Radiator's already clogged up, and you know, like, oh so, my god. So, and then those are the people that you have a hard time with, like, the, you know, and so, hey, you know what? Fine, take it. Then they call me like a month later, hey, my transmission's burnt up. Like, oh my. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. We told what about, you. What about the four It's hard running a business way, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, so. You gotta have patience and you gotta learn how to talk to people. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, you know, people skills comes goes a long way in the business mm. yeah. so the 480 what about the 480s like what what's the most you can build them to so jenny oh. i had a, i had a 480 on jenny with an like with an electronic valve body which at high high horsepower they start acting up but uh jenny put down 1474 on a 480 build on me i actually still have it it's somewhere back there just sitting down damn yeah it's a trans brake and everything, but it's electronic valve body. If I would have put a manual valve body, it would have still been on there. But Damn. I went to each one. Yeah. So manual body, manual valve body versus electronic. Manual if for high horsepower. Manual. You can have an electronic. Why? You can have an electronic one up to like 1100, maybe even 1200. But you gotta think about it. Once you're making so much power, converter slippage and stuff, you need a certain amount of shift pressure, and you know what I'm saying. It, it, you get real technical into the build and about voltage and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get real, real technical into it. So yeah. manual body, when you command the shift, it's going to put the shift in and it's going to go with 
the precise pressure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. So tell us, like, owning a business for so you know owning your shop, what's difficult besides the communication you have with customers? Uh, because you also have to build these trends. Then you have to deal with people. Then you got to deal with customers. Then you got to deal with you know you deal with customers, money and stuff like you that. You deal with salesmen. You deal with parts not being available, taking a little bit. Or like all. Oh, really? Honestly, honestly. Um, once you establish your prices, way like, even if you like, I don't think I'm that expensive. I still think I'm pretty reasonable. Cause like for a stock reboot, I charge like seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred. Mm. I don't know. But uh, once you establish your prices, way like at the end of the day, I've noticed that people. Once you establish your name and that you actually put out good quality work and stuff like that, people at the end of the day they don't they don't look at the price way. They come to you because they've seen the shit you put out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I have people come from California driving just for the transmission. I have people from Arkansas, Colorado, Florida, Austin, Wake, yeah. like all over the place. So I mean, yeah, but I mean, a lot of things to deal with is like parts being in back order or shit like that, and you know, just stuff like you no know, regular business shit. Like, you yeah. know, it's a lot of shit that goes into a business. Yeah, you gotta have employees, you gotta have parts, you gotta have all sorts of shit. Yeah. So you talked about like you built Freddy's trucks. What other, um, what other trucks you built? You know that are like YouTubers or like. Transmissions. Um, I've been doing transmissions for the Andy Gas guys too. Mm. Yeah, um, I just built a few transmissions for Reto and Tito the other day. Um, Little Larry has a transmission by me. Um, Little Easy has one by me. Um, I just built a transmission last week for Reto for one of his cars that he has like a like a Chevy box on that. Yeah. And he's doing an LS swap on it. I oh, a, a the damn. What's it called? They call it something. Mm. The one with the big wheels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he has in the valley game LS swap, and I did a transmission for him last week too. Yeah. Um, I've done transmissions for I mean a lot of people. I mean. Damn, it's yeah. crazy, man. When uh, Russell's helped me out with this Ford too as well, like when with like the tuning and stuff with Lon, and he gave me a lot of input on the truck. I had never done a Ford, and when I did it here at the shop, and he actually came here a few nights too to help me. Oh, nice. Um, when Russell Burley opened his shop. Um, I actually to, shout out to Russell. Yeah, I actually built him like 15 transmissions so he could have them in stock, and that's when he and that's when he started saying them. And then he started building them, or he got somebody to build them from too. There, he yeah. has somebody that builds them there now. Oh damn! Yeah. Nice. So I mean, I've done transmissions for a lot of people. Um, yeah, a, a lot of people. People in the truck scene, you know, you want to give a shout out. To I really don't chill with nobody like that. Yeah. Except my uncle Juan, Juan transmission. Um, but like I said, I'm cool with Russell. I know everywhere I go, I'm cool pretty much with everybody. I know Russell this and that and. I talked to Manuel, you know, shit like that. Um, but uh, like outside of the shop, I really don't chill with uh, people like that. Yeah, yeah. I, like, like once I'm out of the shop, I'm out of the shop. Like I'm out and about. And, yeah. You know? So I have my, my family, my friends, and shit like that. But when don't get me wrong, when I'm at the track, I'm with my homeboys. Yeah. Um, I got another homeboy. He just opened up a shop, like literally like a block away from here, and he's doing a lot of shades. He's doing like um, car washes. He's doing. Um, Suspension work, LS swap, stuff like that. Uh, it's REC, my boy Julio. So I'll give him a shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? He's my boy. Nice, nice. My boy. And he's like, he's my homeboy outside of the shop too. Like, we go Oh, out like, oh. So, yeah. like real, like homeboy. Yeah, he's my homeboy, homeboy. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Nah, bro, he's a, uh, uh, the masas camarada de la calle. Like, yeah. <laughs> you said the most viral video that you've gotten was just that, the, the, the black truck that you said? The, yeah, I did a hit right here in front of the shop. Yeah. It recorded me from across the street. Yeah. Like, it just fucking. Man. Like traveled the front end traveled fucking far as fuck and just yeah. took off nasty and it, I think on Facebook it hit like a million views or one point something million views. Damn. Damn. And then some famous page on Instagram shared it. And oh, on their shit yeah. it got like on their page it got like over a million views too type of shit. Everything y'all be talking. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the questions now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I know. Right? <laughs> Making me all nervous. So how how y'all two meet? How you came into the picture? I know we started it was just you, right? Yeah, it was just me and then uh, we did a I did a podcast with him. And then, you know, he brought the vibes and shit like that, and boom. Okay. Well, he's in Team Billet, so I had him on the pod. Oh, okay, okay. And my ass, nah. Hey, how does that work? I heard Team Billet has, like, strict rules and shit. <laughs> I mean, like, as in what? Like, as in, like... No clapped out trucks. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, the whole nine, you know. You got to have 16 whites, 26 and up, bags. 16 whites? You got to, yeah. Minimum. Well, for a lifted truck, I think 14 or 16. God around damn. There. And, then, you know, I think the, the lift is, like, a 14, 15, or 14, or at least higher than a 12. For a lifted truck, you oh, know, shit. color matching around, interior done, stuff like that. I mean, I feel like they're more strict, more with back trucks and stuff, you know? Okay, okay. I got. Uh, how did you come up with the name Triple P? Yeah. It's easy. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, bro. What the yeah. fuck? I think uh, I so, like. Um, at the beginning, when I was at open the shop, I really wanted to open a parts store. Mm. 
So, and what I do so parts like I have parts in stock and shit like that. Like you know, like for the yeah. for the jobs that we do here. Push and P. So it's called. It's that was before uh, push and P. Pantojas parts and performance. Mm, so, but instead of saying Pantojas parts and performance, you say Triple P. Okay. They don't call you, but like, hey, Triple H. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no. Hey, shout out to Triple P, man. What do you think about the podcast? Like, what do you think about the, you know, we got the setup, we got the cameraman, we got I the makeup. I fuck with it, it's cool. We got like, the makeup person right there. Yeah. I fuck with it, it's cool, it's cool, it's like, it's, it's a vibe. Yeah, man, we have like 30 people, you know, getting everything done, you know, all the editors. Ready for a shot or what? What? Ready for a shot? Come on, let's go. Hey, John, get, get shot. Johnny, dang, hey, bring the shot, somebody. Hey, shout out to Johnny. Johnny went all dang. Yeah. Hey, got a new segment, come by take that shot. Or oh, screw it down. Oh, hey, I don't drink, we. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I have never seen that shit, bro. I got like a drop. Yeah, look, oh, okay. And my mama, my little bitch, I ain't gonna lie. Ha. Woo. Fuck, hold on, I can't even open this shit. Hold on. That way, there you go. Saludos for todos los compadres. Shout out to Triple T. Fuck him. What? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. Hey, he's already drunk. Shout out to Triple. Hey. You know? Yeah. Compadre, shout out to Compadre, you know, helping out. Cheers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm talking we got the tree here, a little pro tree. We don't have the tree. Hopefully soon we get the big tree, the actual tree. We just got this in. We're going to see who has a faster time, like if you're at the track. And uh, it's going to be on pro, so let's see who, who wins. Yeah, they ain't messing around. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have no experience with racing. Run first or no? Yeah, yeah, you can. I'm about to get nervous. Yeah, right? But I see forehead sweating, but I don't know if it's that oil or is that forehead sweating. <laughs> it's oil. <laughs> <It's> oil. <laughs> Me talking shit, here. All right, these guys are getting it down. Are we good? Well, I got a so, question now. What's up? Because I'm used to having the trans brake on and then letting go. Yes, yeah, like same, oh, okay, okay. same thing, same thing, baby, same thing. You mind putting it closer right. to the mic? My bad. Well, uh, can you like, oh no, it's fine, yeah. I think we're good, we're good. Hey, Johnny, can you see the lights and everything? Yeah, it's ready. You want me to hold it or not? Do you want me to hold it? Crazy shit. Wait, hold on, you want me to hold it? <laughs> no, like, I, like the light. Oh. The, uh, no, you want me to hold it or not? No, like, I already know. pressed it. Yeah, you see how it's staged? Oh, yeah. You see how it's staged? All right, see? The first number, it's mine. The second number is yours. Fuck. No, when it, when it comes up on here. Watch, let's do it again. Watch. I pick it up, too. Do pick it come on. You? All right, he's getting it down. They're testing it out. All right, see? Oh, the, shit. That number is mine. That, that number is yours. So who won? Nah, we red light. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I hit the red. Hold on, wait. Yeah, take the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Leg rise, right, ready? This series right here. Right. Series. Go. All right, you're you're staging. All right, I'm staging. We both red light. All right, ready? Wait, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Y'all cheating. All right, stage. Ah, nah. Zero zero two. <laughs> Bro, that shit is fucking too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just your... Aquí estamos en comerciales, compadre. Están aquí like, platicando con la desmadre. We're about a... On the pod. Oh, shit, you want... Hey, yeah, I got, I got... I brought money, dog. I, I know how they're... For coins and this and this and that. We're gonna see right now. Look, 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 look. Oh. This series. Tento parato. He doesn't want to... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Loki, yo. You haven't yo. got it? You said I mean, I get it, but it's just... Usually when the light hits, like you just let go of the button and you hit the green light. Yeah, yeah. This is this red enemy the whole oh, time. So it has to hit on green to go. We're this is for real now. Where we're actually right. gonna do it with hundred dollars. Nah, <laughs> he's like, hey, you want to <laughs> though for real? Oh, he's down. Come oh, he's down. Come hey, on. he's <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, what do you want to do? Twenty or hundred? Whatever you want. Ah, oh, look, he's he's trying, hey, he's trying to be like the track. Nah, he's trying to be like the guy at the track. Hey, whatever you want. Better. I'm the cheerleader, brother. Hey, hold, on, hold on, you really want to be like that? <laughs> I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you the option. You can choose from a dollar to whatever you want. Hey, you really want to be like that? I'll give you the option. Look, he, look you really want to be like that? <laughs> All right, fuck it, a thousand, look. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> a thousand? All right, we, we're going to start low. We'll All start right, like 10 bucks. We're going to start at 20. 20, 20, right? Hey, but no veo no mami. Okay, okay. You sure you don't want me to hold it? Come on, come on, come on. 
Gummy bear coming in. Hey, you're gonna see a gummy bear in the back, but my bad. My bad, bro. Shout out to, shout out to the fort. Hey, we need the real tree, way. Yeah, yeah, this is not it. <laughs> hey, he's, he's like, not he's it. like, this is not it. Yeah. Hey, we trying, all right? We trying. <laughs> You know, we only got tumbar con el micrófono, güey. Dile, dile algo, güey, por favor, ya, güey. A ver, hazte un poquito, hazte más para atrás. Can you see it? If you realize you lose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A ver, ¿no me dieron o no? All right, it's the real deal, guys. Yes, sir. Are you staging? Are you staging already? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm staging. Oh! You read it first. You read it first. I did red light first. Nice 20 bucks. All right, 20, 20 on top of 20, 20. Second round, what are we going to do another 20? Yeah, another 20, another 20. Another 20, all right. Ready? Ah! Now we're all even. All right, all right. All right, we're even now, guys. We're even now. All right, ready? How much is better? Ah! We're going to throw in, we? He lost, he lost. We're up, hey, go hard. Go hard is up 20. We're going to do two more. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> All right, go hard is up 40. 40, 40, 40. Hey, we're about to pay the, the camera guy with <laughs> doing this. Viejo, una, dos. Ah! Go hard is up 60, man. What's wrong with this wig? <laughs> I've never read out of that, man. <laughs> Look, I'm going to make you a deal. All right. We're going to go to Bring a real one? I'm gonna let you borrow one of my trucks. Coin flip, coin flip. No, no, no. I'm gonna let you borrow one of my trucks. Hey, he said it. Yeah. And I'm gonna get on the other, my other truck. <laughs> and we're gonna just the light. I'm not gonna let you take off. Ah, just the light. <laughs> all you get is a 60. You foot. might as well go on the foot. All, this, all you get is a 60 foot. What if we do it on the foot, like running? Nah, I gotta be in the truck with a trap. Uh, you gotta uh, press the button. The trans, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on. You only get the 60 foot, though. Is that a bump? Yeah. Oh. Now, you can do a coin flip. Papa Tanjo has known for coin flip. But you gotta shake on it though. You know. You gotta, ah. you gotta shake on it though. Man. Bro, you know you're known for coin flip. I throw. Quien trae una cora. Te le cambio un penny, a ver algo. Es que we were playing coin flip hace rato. Ah, you see? Look, look, look. Es lo que sea, compadre. Compadre, it's gonna be a badass podcast, compadre. I'll tell you that right now. Shout out to Triple P. Shout out to Triple P again, man. <clears throat> we need the real deal though. Sorry. Compadre, you haven't raced in a minute though. I ain't gonna lie. Compadre, no. Compadre, tell us. How much are you right now? 60. 60, okay. We do 20, 20, 20. You do 20, 20, 20? Yeah, you want tails? Tails, sir. Okay. All right, 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 right. What we got? What we got? What we got? What number? What number? What letter? Tails. Tails. Damn, you have 80. Damn. Faltan dos más. Heads, heads. Yeah, but that's good. 60, 60. We do three more, three more, three more. <laughs> Heads. 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 Ah. Tails. 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 40. 40, 40. We'll head one more time. Choose. Yeah. <laughs> Heads. Heads. Heads, watch. Yeah. Tails. <laughs> he gave you a, he, he gave you a heavier quarter. Hey, that's 40. Yeah. That's Hold 20. on. Huh? Yeah, it's 20. You were at 40 already. All right, all right. And then you count it now. I mean, you, you call in there. Dale. You count. Heads. Su levantada, compadre. Heads. Heads. Damn. Damn. Hey, we back at zero. We, we played. Broke. Hey, we we're played. The, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> hey, we played the infamous coin flipper right here. Hey, guys, if you got the track and you're going to flip a coin, I don't, I don't know, man. He just. You seen the video or what? Yeah. Oh, I seen okay. it whenever oh. you were coin flipping. Oh, you were there? No, I seen it like on YouTube, oh, okay. and you were like, "Hey, back up, back up, back up." Yeah. It got rowdy or what? I mean, I like. Oh. A bit here and there. Yeah. We're not on YouTube. So we're not, you're not we're doing, doing this for fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna agree on a. Um, I put that. I put it. In, put that. I think you can't put the. No, no, I'm saying, but you can't put the word. I'm, you're gonna censor it, right, John? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can't put the word. I remember I said, "Abran se todos a la verga." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so y'all not gonna do that track thing? Or? What track thing? What we were saying? Like going on the track? Just, just going there? Hell no. <laughs> I wouldn't want to give my fucking truck to somebody be like, hey, just hit the brake. You just get the light. That's it. Oh, right. <laughs> you're not gonna go on the whole quarter mile. Hey, if I, hey. As soon as you let go of the button, you're going back in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Fuck it. Hey, he would go in reverse and be like, bah! 
<laughs> nah, I ain't gonna risk shit, dog. I got the bad luck and everything, brother. Patoja, tell us, uh, tell us, like, give us some advice to those who are, like, building their trucks, who are, maybe want to open up a shop, too. If you're building a, if you're building a truck, do it right the first time. No, if, if, if you're a little bit low on cash or something, wait, and then do it right the first time. Don't, don't cookie cut it, don't shortcut it. Do it right the first time. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, if you're trying to open up a shop, don't come to Pasadena. Nah, I'm hey. <laughs> Pasadena's full of shops, but you can come. Yeah. There's, there's, no, I remember there's that. Sunlight, there's sunlight for everybody. If you think about it, wait, like if you really, really, really think about it, north side, east side, west, anywhere in Houston, they all opened up in Pasadena for the yeah. shops. Mm. Hey, in Pasadena, like at the top of my head, there's fuck. Look, just on this street. Oh my God, I know. Bro, we need, like, everybody was here, bro. Just on this block right here, there's five transmission shops. Yeah. Just right here, so I mean, that tells you a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got his business. I mean, there's, there's, there's sunlight for everybody, you know? Yeah. But it is kind of hard to, you know, there's a lot of competition and stuff like that. But like I said, if you do shit right and, you know, you're, 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 you're good people yeah. and, you know, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll succeed in it. Just don't, don't give up. Keep on trying. I know back in the day, it was just like you and, um, I mean, not you, but uh, Juan and Noe. Yeah. Noe's transmission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no mas, that's it. Like, mm -hmm. there wasn't... Noe actually worked for Juan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another story. Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. Noe started off at Juan, and then he got his own shop. Oh, damn. 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 That's it. That's all the people I knew. Yeah, that was mainly the... Like, for the performance shit, it was just probably them. Yeah. yeah. For those of you <laughs> out there licking, watching the podcast, thank you, Pantoja, for letting us come to your shop, man. Uh, thank you for coming. It was badass. Yeah, bro. It was, it was awesome. Appreciate it, man. Um, what do you think? Like, who, who should we have next on as 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 our guest? Tag him real hard, bro. Tag him. He's like, like we ah. get him. He went like this. He went, ah. Ah, I mean, there's a lot of people. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of bad motherfuckers in Houston. Yeah, no, no. A lot of people in here. Yeah. Um, shit. Um, Houston Street Monsters. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of <laughs> motherfuckers out here. Wait, it's yeah. Houston. Wait, yeah, no, no. This is where it at. This is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I've always said this. Houston is where it at. If if it's highway racing, if it's drag racing, yeah. grudge, grudge. Houston's where it at. Yeah. Nobody else makes as much noise as Houston. Who? Like, no. Dallas got some fast cars, like some actual track track cars, you know. Yeah. But like other than that, I mean, who else? Like nobody. What about like you talking about trucks or just racing in general? And racing in general. Houston's where it at. Mm. Texas 2K was here for years. Yeah. Everybody from nationwide would come to Houston. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Houston's where it at. Woo. Yes, what do you think about the like the the racing scene like trucks? You know, they say trucks are you can be scared to come to Texas to race a truck. You know what I'm saying? Like you think they're still competing with like Lambos, like rate as far as like heavy, heavy like GTR racing. Uh, nah, like, I mean you gotta there's just, there's levels and there's limits and yeah uh, you're no truck on the street is fucking with a well like a Bill Lambo that's impossible yeah yeah yeah, yeah. fucking right. the car is meant to go fast this shit's meant to fucking haul a lumber in the back <laughs> and shit you know what I'm saying yeah yeah yeah, it's, yeah like they'll give you probably a good run but it's not beating no fucking now Bill Bill Lambo is not the, yeah, yeah. on the street there's no truck to exist to be able to drive on the street and make a hit with a Lambo and beat it you know what I'm saying yeah. like an actual Bill Lambo. Yeah. Like UGR Lambo or something. Yeah, yeah, like some shit like that. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Check out uh, Pantoja Triple P on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Ociel Team Billet on uh, TikTok and Instagram. Instagram. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for the support. Check out Go Hard Podcast, the audio on Spotify, uh, Spotify iTunes. We're on Instagram, uh, uh, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube shorts, everything. Apple Music. Apple Music. Only iTunes. fans. O only fans. Oh, see, that's going to be the our our, uh, our host for that. What the fuck? going to put up, do some work. You know what Yo, I'm saying? What the fuck? So, thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Let's get it. Boom.